And Team Spirit kicking things off on the CT side. FlyQuest on the T side. It's going to be a quick play towards this B bomb site called by the Aussies. And they're going to go right into Chopper. He will do exactly that with his USP. Chops the head right off. In. Vexite will follow in suit. And they're calling this one off. They're going elsewhere. Yep. Peace. Uh, get shut down. Transition over towards middle, towards the A bomb site. Those footsteps are being tracked by Zontix. Double duelies over in Cave. So if you think that's going to fake them out, you're in for a really rough time turning this corner. Zontix up close. Shiro's going to swing on contact. Oh, and they get oh. obliterated, coming through the murder hole. Triple kill for Zontix, pistol for Spirit. Yeah, nice and clean for them. I really, I, I, I really hope this like Team Spirit rise continues. Like, I don't want this to be like a, a team that's like Donk's incredible, Shiro's incredible, but they're not winning much. I want to keep seeing them fight and contend for big trophies. Yeah, and some of the the bottlenecks. From the squad, Koopy, the likes of Magix and Chopper, who sometimes have pretty quiet games, but Magix on Ancient. He's played this position for many a year, and so he's quite comfortable on the CT side of this map, and he's off to a flyer here. Two kills to kick off this round against the rifles of FlyQuest on an MP9, of all things. It's not exactly the start FlyQuest would have been hoping for, so Inz is trying to start a little bit of success in towards this eight bomb side. Chopper gets close quarter combat going with this MP9, rounds that corner and uses the sound cue to perfection. Now the last ditch effort for FlyQuest is trying to head into this B bomb site. Donk is ready. <laughs> Donk just charges through with FMS, and Magix is there to close. Oh, he doesn't care about your smokes. He really doesn't. He doesn't care about it's that It's just a slight obstacle in his way. AK's in plenty of utility for the rest of the T side. You know what's really interesting about the, the Team Spirit squad? You know, at the RMRs, we started to see their first weakness, and it was maybe Vertigo. They've actually changed the position of Donk. Yep. He doesn't play as that B Not anchor the B anchor anymore. anymore yep. And that... Is very exciting. Especially with now the further changes to Vertigo. Oh. Shiro gets an easy shot as Vexite comes through the smoke, was trying to catch Magix jumping away, but the AWP has great cover. And now Donk moves into position with Chopper behind the smoke in front of Jaguar to take control of B lane. And Dexter is looking the wrong direction, baby. Over towards the A bomb site, everyone starts to shift. There's a deep donut smoke. Alistair can flick on down, but Zontix just swings. Here's the headshot. Maybe goes a little step too far, but he does a lot of damage onto Liaz, who is now trapped in the corner because Donk knows he's got him pinned. It seems a little crazy, like a little bull just taking like a really aggressive peek like that if you're Zontix, but you had, you had Donk <laughs> rotating over from Donut. Yeah, deathmatch, baby. Like, he's playing two angles at once. And I actually think three. I favor him. He's yeah, playing... three angles, you're right. All right, let's see him make it work or mid to look a little silly. It gets off of Tallbox just in time. He's able to drop back into safety. He goes out for the peak at a good time. Inz is caught with utility in his hands. And Donk knows that Lias is pinned and swings the sniper into the kill. Donk plays it to perfection in the end. That's 8-1 for Donk. I'm happy with the start here, Chopper. You absolutely would be. 5-0. FlyQuest once again do battle with oh, here we weaker go, baby. weapons. And it's a quick A play. There's no one inside of the A bomb site. Fastest to get there is Zontix. He's going to toss his grenade out. Get his rifle ready. It's one kill from Zontix. Dog on the follow-up. And good transfer back from Dog. That is mechanically brilliant. Three kills. He can't even believe it. He's loving that. Yeah, that's <laughs> I don't a, know. It just happens. That's <laughs> a really nice transfer. You see. Apart from that, few games on Vertigo, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Except for those couple times. Well, let's see if he gets caught here. There is a player pushed up, but he's not aggressive. It's Zontix instead who takes the bullet uh, that yeah. I thought might have been meant for Donk. And without his teammate, they've been kind of a one-two punch in the aggressive fight that they've taken. Donk backs away for the moment. He's the only player on this side of the map. He's got to control mid, and he's got to be concerned about the eight bomb save. But just the spam That's enough. forces Fly Donk to regain control. Self-boost oh. himself up. Makes oh. it look so damn easy, so damn clean. And Donk then drops off the top of it, in behind the box, and will look for further kills. It is Inz who has dropped down to 8 health. Chopper coming to help, that's Vex side on the other side of the map, who is now down, so FlyQuest only have one option, and that is to run into the path of Donk, who has plenty of teammates now to help him. Do you see the psychopath just jiggle the right side, bait out the shot from the AWP, and then swing left for more damage? Oh, he, he wins gets that, that one! Oh yeah, my he God. does, and not one more. Inz was crouched just beneath the crosshair placement, but Shiro's... He's like, boost, please make my day. Do it. I dare oh, you. I double it. dog dare you. <laughs> now they're jumping. They're really testing him. But seven rounds in a row. Donk, even though he loses, Zontix early. It's great to have that combo. Good shot from Chopper. 
Nice shots back, though, from FlyQuest. That's even trading with the pistols. This is the first real pressure Spirit have experienced in this map so far, where, where Shiro can't really commit himself aggressively to slow down the hit on this bomb site. Good kills from FlyQuest. Shiro's going to cross over. Got to be careful about the long corner of Cube. Yeah, they got by the scope. He's got his teammates to try and get there with him, and Dexter couldn't quite capitalize on his small chance. But that bomb is down. FlyQuest, it's not the easiest post plan, but it's one they have to fight for. Throw everything you've got at winning this one. Ends to take Donk out of play. Zontex falls, and so it's all on Shiro. The Immortal into the clutch. He thinks about Inns coming through the short side, and it works out perfectly for Shiro. He wants to go to the rifle to close this one out. He's got no smoke to create that pressure, nor a molly to stop the push. And that bomb is planted in the open, and Vexite ain't biting on that first defuse. Shiro swing. has to go and fight him. He goes into the swing, and Vexite will win it for FlyQuest. Finally, they break through to a round victory. Back for the side. He's now got it in his hands. Zero and eight. He's hoping to get off that goose egg with the sniper. Don Kazan takes right back at it. Look how quick they're climbing up here. Flash is coming through, trying to stop Dunk from feeling comfortable. Dexter's inside of that cave smoke, and Donk predicts the position correctly based on the sound and is able to remove Dexter from play. In falls at the hand of Zontix. And just like that, Team Spirit... Dude. Oh my god! Dude. What? I've reported. Even though he's like a <laughs> pro game, I just report every round. See what happens. <laughs> that is so mental. Oh my god, Donk. What are you meant to do about that, Jason? Nothing. You just, you <laughs> just, just, you just, just die. It. You just take it and you like it. Oh, that's round. <laughs> Did FlyQuest even see anybody? Okay, there's Alex. He's taken down Donk. From winning the first round. And that T-side with pistols. This has got to be fast. That Molotov is going to pull rotations over. Yeah. Zontix is already here, and Alistair, the last one left, won't get away. Immediate kill from Magix. Eight to one. Go back to Donut. Zontix playing from red. A passive setup this time from Team Spirit. Probably realize you can't get away with it every time, so let, let's throw a little change up in here. And through the smoke again. This time it's red. It's a common spam for Zontix, so he's dropped Alistair as he walks out middle. Okay, they've got information about the AWP. Zontix blows open the smoke in middle. Donk is going to start getting frisky. He's forced Inns away and done damage. And FlyQuest can't even get, like, the first step of map control. This is this is so crushing. There's not even really a whole lot to talk about tactically because every time they're making a move for for so just to get the basic first step, you're, you're losing players. And you got to come back and get the and bomb. And you got to come back and get the bomb, but actually that might not even be a concern. There was a little scares at the start of the year, obviously. We didn't we missed out on Donk going to the first blast groups of the year. Then we wondered, is he going to make it for Kato? He made it there. It's just great to see him actually make it to these events. And now we're looking at Team Spear up nine to one over FlyQuest. And Chopper's pushed all the way down B. I don't yeah, he, okay. He has an indication Vexite could be there. So another smoke is coming in. Well timed, and Chopper's gonna move forward. Oh, he's locked him in. Yeah, he's hunting him. He's got this one. Surely mm. Vexite in the corner, looking the wrong way. So Chopper, even though he didn't fully consider it, he got the information in time, he was able to react, and Vexite goes down. So now Chopper takes up that position in the cubby. He's still got that shark in him from his Vegas squad. He does have that shark that in him. Kill. Smells blood in the water. There's old Chop Chop. He's got himself Dexter. There's another one for Chopper. Doesn't often get to have fun in the rounds. Usually everybody's dead by the time he gets involved. But he gets himself into battle early. Chop and three, he's had a good amount of fun, Dinko. Yeah, he's definitely had fun on this <laughs> map, yeah. He's had some rounds. Good peek. Donk takes the attention. Magix just slides out. That A4. So many bullets. And a good turn. Can't find Alistair, who's going to move up the ramp, but it is nearly impossible, and indeed he'll go down at the end. It's 10-1. to 1. one round remaining in this first half. And Spirit's expecting an A play. They shifted Zontix over. They shifted Chopper over as well. Just now sliding back to their normal positions-ish. Oh, Shiro. Scoped up, takes Dexter out of there. Surely Magix is going to get a free kill here. That MAC-10 goes flying through, but Magix still able to handle it. Effective trading from Liaz, but he steps into the sniper of Shiro, leaving Inns and Alistair to try and stay alive in this half. But it is now just Alistair left alone. And it has been a dominant showing in this first half from Team Spirit. 
Alistair will throw everything he can into trying to win this last round of the half for FlyQuest. But it is just looking impossible. Chopper will close out an 11th round for Team Spirit. They show up to Dallas in the kind of form we were all expecting. And this donk show continues in the second half. Few, their one round win, actually. I was going to so, say, Phew, uh, where are you going with that their one? Their one round win, Jason. It was nice to hear that. Um, they looked pretty composed, shall we say. But it's not been the half they would have hoped for. It is Team Spirit on top at the moment. And the pistol round kicks off the way Spirit would hope. It's Shiro straight away to that headshot on Vexite, and Dexter looking to take them down up the ramp. Nice shot at range, but they've infiltrated the B-bomb site. I was going to say, and you're giving them a lot of space with a very passive setup. Shiro's going to add another one onto a Dexter. Gush! Oh. And then they get involved in the fight, and that's the pistol round done and dusted. That is uh, the map. The map's, yeah. pretty much, pre map's pretty much done. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much over. Um, whether or not it's going to be 13-1, or a little bit extra here for FlyQuest yet to be seen, but it should be, in fact, a 13-1 victory for Team Spirit, and this is exciting, honestly. Like, this game in particular ain't exciting, but for the for the context of the whole tournament, Jason, it, it's exciting to see Spirit in this form. You know, you have Malice who've just lost their opening game, and they're considered the favorite for the event. I would still have FaZe over them just because they've never beaten you know, FaZe. That's such a that's a cool conversation to have at some point, and maybe we can get into it as the tournament goes on. I don't even know if I would consider Miles a favorite for the event, but I, wouldn't, I think but... you would probably say in terms of like power rankings at this moment in time, you know, the bigger events, arenas. Yeah, and now Team Spirit enter that conversation, obviously, because they've been away for a while, but they're back. Yeah. But FaZe is certainly in that conversation too. Vitality is probably going to be in that conversation to an extent. Very exciting near the top of Counter-Strike. And that's a good start for Shiro. Yet again, back-to-back -back opening kills for him. Pistol into the second round here. The four players remain for FlyQuest. Uh, there's, just, there's just nothing to fight with. Spirit have played this round. You talked about Chopper and his individual level, but also his in-game leading has been really strong with this Spirit roster, and this is like... We're gonna take this one slow, boys. Like, they have to force by here. They're not gonna have a lot of nades, so just let it clear out. Let the first 40 seconds or so just be chill. And then we take complete advantage of the weaponry that they don't have. Mm. And now it is over. Just Vexite lost to a one versus four. We missed Team Spirit. They were gone for a while, but now they return to the Intel Extreme Masters, and they return in style. The contenders for the 100th Intel Extreme Masters trophy, Team Spirit, are definitely here.